The next exercise we are going to perform is ANOVA test. Let us take the existing data, go to file, click open, click data, then let us take employee data set which is the default data set available with SPSS, click open. Then you will be getting this data set. It includes ID, gender, birth date, education, job category, salary, then their salary at the beginning and the job time, their previous experience in months and whether they belong to the minority category. Now going to the data analysis, go to analyze, then come to general linear model, click univariate. Then you'll be getting this window here. We have to select the dependent variable and fixed factor. Here the dependent variable is current salary and fixed factor will be their employment category. So bring those two into the analyze area. Then click model. No further requirement in model. Then contrast. Nothing to do with this. Plots. We don't want to uh, plot anything here then click continue then we are not going to do post arc right now then we are not going to do em means yes we will do em means for display em means for job category click continue then save uh, no need to do uh, with this then options if you want descriptive statistics you can select it and then nothing else click continue Bootstrap we are not going to do right now. So click OK. You'll be getting this output univariate analysis. So here you can see the employment category. There are three employment categories clerical, custodial and manager. Usually this ANOVA test is performed when you have more than one independent variables with groups and they are not related to each other when you want to compare the means of these independent groups then this test will be useful then uh, totally 363 for clerical and 27 for custodial and 84 managers are there in the data set and the descriptive statistics explains the mean standard deviation and the respective total then coming to the test between the subject effects here the job category and errors are given and all are significant which means we are accepting the alternate hypothesis all are lesser than 0 0.05 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis in other words we are accepting the alternate hypothesis so there is a significant difference between the means of all the groups so that is the conclusion. Thank you.